you can call it the ultimate recycling program. In the past, booms used to soak up oil from the Gulf spill would be buried in landfills. In a program unique to General Motors, these will be recycled and converted into parts for these, reducing the secondary environmental impact of the spill. It's actually a pretty simple process and it's pretty economical as far as, you know, not too labor intensive and it's, uh, we're able to keep a lot of material from going to the landfills. After the booms are pulled from the water, oil is removed by spinning them in a centrifuge, processing and then remolding them into car parts, such as the air deflectors surrounding the radiator for the new Chevrolet Volt. These materials, if sent to a landfill, will take hundreds of years to even start to break down. So they do have a, a life cycle that they can be reused over and over and over again, thus preventing the use of new, new materials being generated. Over 100 miles of booms have been prevented from being dumped into landfills. General Motors has worked collaboratively with their suppliers to recycle waste into reusable products. GM believes in resource conservation, taking materials and utilizing them in the best possible way. We believe efficiency reflects in quality as well. If we can take materials and figure out through our supplier base and other technology investigations that we can move those materials into a good use, that's a good thing for the world. Recycling of the Gulf booms is one of many steps General Motors has taken to reuse waste byproducts. Two years ago, General Motors had promised to make 50% of their facilities landfill free. They've exceeded that with 76 of their facilities achieving this goal. I'm Kendra Wright.